Hi guys, it's Chandra back again. I have another thrift haul for you. I resell on eBay. My store is called Chandra Law, the resale store of your dreams. I figure I'll go through and show you what I've got now. This channel essentially is to keep me motivated and inspired to keep selling and to keep, um, keep myself on track really. So I'm gonna show you some things. I'm gonna get them pictured and I'm gonna get them listed. And if you wanna check out my store, there'll be links down below. Let's do it. Bow, bow, no, just kidding. <laughs> All right, so this first thing I found is a purple light wash denim jacket. It does have raw hems, but obviously some of them need a little trim. It is by Levi's. It's called Levi's Line 8. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, is that, is that really Levi's? Like, I've never seen that, that tag or heard of this before, but it is. It's Levi's Line 8, um, and it's very springy in color. It is a men's large, so have a look. It's pretty cool looking. Single pocket in the front. Um, like I said, those raw edges on the sleeves and the hem and it's just sort of a neat jacket um, some things from this brand can do very well some Levi's lines do very well some not so much you need to look into each one before you decide to sink your money into it um, this was a good price I don't think the thrift store thought it was Levi's either you know got it for a steal of a deal I'm hoping I can get I don't know 30 to 40 bucks, maybe a little bit more out of it. I just think it's really cute. I think it's really neat that it's a purple color and it's a men's sizing. Just sort of adds a unique flavor. I really like it. I hope I hope somebody else likes it as much as I do. And the white, like white buttons, that's really cool. And they are all like branded. So pretty cool. Sticking with our theme of purple, as we've already discussed, it's my favorite color. I had to buy this. It told me to. This is a Prince Purple Rain t-shirt. Now, it's not like from the concert or anything like that. It is a um, not a vintage, vintage shirt. It's probably, I don't know, 2000s, early 2000s. The tag on the inside is all but washed up. In, sp in specific lighting, I can see the size on it. I wanna say it was a medium, but I can't see in the lighting I'm in now. It is officially licensed branded material, um, but it's just so, I mean, iconic, honestly. <sighs> You're not a child of the 80s, I am. I remember this. I remember Prince, I remember Purple Rain, I remember watching the video, I remember just my sisters geeking out to it. Awesome, just freaking awesome. Who does not love Prince? This is an amazing t-shirt. And I actually have done pretty well with some concert t-shirts lately. I sold a Journey t-shirt for like $30. And it was new, like not an old vintage actually concert worn kind of thing. No, it was like made in the last two years. This is something I had never seen before. Um, it was in the dress section, but it was marked like a t-shirt. So I got it for a good price. Um, the brand is called Cozy Earth. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of weirdly printed on like an inside pleat. I don't know if you can see it. Cozy Earth. So this is a women's 2X, XXL, and it's like a, a gently ribbed, almost just like a t-shirt, but it's actually a dress solid black, rounded neckline, um, basic, just totally basic. But I looked up this brand and oh my gosh, like freaking 50 to a hundred dollars, depending on the dress used. That's redonkulous. This is such a basic, but you know what? I will be happy to get that. I will not complain. <laughs> It does feel really luxurious though. Um, it's not just like a basic pleated whatever. 
it feels very nice. Next, this, whoop, got it upside down. This dress is by Hilo Haiti or Hilo Hattie, whatever, you'll tell me. Um, this is not one of their very vintage dresses. So this is not 60s, 70s, whatnot. This is probably from the 90s. It is rayon. Um, it was made in Bali, Indonesia. Um, but the reason why I got this, it's a size medium and it's got this beautiful batik design. Um, it's got like a tie-dye background, but then a batik floral print. I don't know if you can see that well. Um, it is a maxi dress. Maxis are always in for spring. And then on top of that, it's like a brownish color. And brown is one of those colors that keeps resurfacing as like a color of the season. So even though it's not necessarily 100% on trend for this spring, it's still in the thought of the people who are very trendy. So I think this will do very well. On top of that, it's sort of that natural granola, burning man style. You know what I mean? Um, that very earthy type of person will be very into this type of dress. Next, okay. So this is just Title IX. Title IX is a good brand. There we go. Um, you've probably heard of them before. This is a size small. It's got this pretty peachy pink color with a gray chrysanthemum print. Um, very nice, got a drape neck in the front. It's very pretty, very classic. Title IX um, makes essentially like tennis wear sort of country club attire. So that should do pretty well. Again, you know, it was an okay price. I like it. I do well with the brand. So I went ahead and bought it. Um, so this one is a total out of the ballpark for me one. I've never sourced this brand before. Barashi. Now I know it was sold at Anthropology, um, but this is missing its underslip which you would think would be a bad thing. However, for this spring in 2023, um, sheer and see-through is one of the very big trends. So this, I wanted to try it and see how it does. Now it is sheer without its under, right? Um, but it's got this beautiful scroll embroidery work, floral vine work at the bottom. It's very pretty. It's a rosy pink blush kind of color. Um, so I think it will do well. On top of that, it's a size 14, which is a larger size, and that usually will do pretty well for me. So I think it has a lot going for it. So we'll have to see how it does. Next, I actually have two things, but we'll, we'll, uh, We'll do them sort of right behind each other. Okay, this is a vintage 1990s size large denim dress. Um, it buttons all the way down the front, has floral embroidery up at the top. It is a maxi style dress. And in the back, it has a tie at the waist so you can make it a little snug. So this reminds me a lot of Friends maybe something that Phoebe would have worn. Um, it does also have pockets on the side. Woohoo! Who doesn't love a dress with pockets? Everybody loves a dress with pockets. If you can throw your cash in your pocket and not have to worry about carrying a purse, sold. Anyway, so it is denim. It has that, like I said, pretty floral embroidery. It can be worn totally open, almost like a duster. Um, or it can be worn, you know, buttoned half, only halfway down. So it's more of a flowy bottom. So many different things you can do with this. And it is that light denim, which is in right now. And being that it's a maxi, it's vintage, it's nineties. It has so many checks on my boxes. Now the match, the mate. <laughs> this one's a little bit different, also 1990s. It is by Bill Blass. Um, it is a size medium and it has, it's a slightly darker denim. It is also a maxi length, has a side slit at the bottom, 
has this fun button flap pocket on the chest and then wait for it it's got a flat pocket on the back now this is obviously not particularly useful to have a pocket on the back of your dress but how cute is that and i think you know depending on what you're going for you might even wear it backwards if it looks better that way on i couldn't tell you i am nowhere near a size medium but how flippin cute is that and again denim dresses maxi dresses are very in right now so we shall see i'm going to save that one for last because that's my favorite this um, is a brand i've not had before i have had a similar brand i can't remember the name of it but it's um a very nautical style so you want to think like Maine and um, crab fishing and things like that that nautical I'm gonna go out on my sailboat or my yacht kind of style that's what this reminds me of now it is a camouflage um, light like faded camouflage that is the color it's supposed to be you can tell that it's a quality item first off it's very heavy right it has weight to it as far as a sweatshirt the material itself is so soft then it has branding okay there's branding on the sleeve there's branding around where the um drawstring comes out the drawstring in and of itself is a rope and there's branding on the end of that and then it also has a chest branding so this brand in particular is called Wanna Comb. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, and it actually is relatively expensive. Let's see if I can, this might be easier. It's a little bigger print for those of us in the back. <laughs> Wanna Comb, it is a size medium. It's got a lovely like terry, mm, almost a like a ribbed fleece lining super soft super nice anywho side pockets all the things pockets i lied no pockets anywho um but it's just freaking gorgeous and these sell for a decent amount of money i would expect to make hopefully 50 dollars off of this sweatshirt again prices may vary you know i try not to tell y'all numbers because i don't know it'll end up selling. That's what I know. <laughs> Should do decent though. Okay. This, this just stunned me. Okay. So here I am in a thrift store and there are multiple resellers around. I know them. I see them. I see them everywhere I go. Um, every thrift store I go to, you can pick them out. They have a look in their eye. They're through the racks. I know, I do the same thing. Multiple resellers had been down this aisle. Not one of them stopped to look at this, okay? This vest. This is a very interesting vest, right? First off, it's sort of a, a pale lime green. It's quilted, it's got brown corduroy trim, odd. You touch it, you feel it. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's silk, okay. Let's look at the brand, J. McLaughlin. Well, that's a good brand. It's a size medium. It's got pockets. What, is it silk? Let's check it out. Oh, it's 100% silk. Why on earth would they not have picked this up? I will never know. I do very well selling J. McLaughlin. I think the last shirt I sold from them, that, which was a shirt, like a button front shirt, sold for 50 bucks. Again, your results may vary. But this, I mean, this is unique. This is valuable. This is nice. It's silk, it's quilted, it's all the things. And this lime color is very in the spring. I don't know, they passed it up, it went home with me. Okay, so this thing. <laughs> Uh, this is a vintage, well, 
early 2000s. It's called Little Dollies. Um, they make pageant wear for children. Um, this is a size, oh, it says 16 to 19 pounds. Anyway, it's purple, right? Favorite color, we already discussed but it is a circle dress. So if you don't know what that means, a circle dress is a dress that you can lay down on the floor and the bottom of it literally makes a circle all the way around, okay? So people who put their children in pageants look for these dresses and they often will spend quite a bit of money on them. Now this brand is not like the A brand, right? This is more like the C brand that's okay. For what I paid for it, it will still sell and get me a decent profit. It does button up the back. It has an attached bow tie and it's a good color. Purple. Who doesn't love purple? Unfortunately, it is a smaller size. So this in a size four to six, like four toddler to six, would sell significantly better for a significantly higher price. However, this one will do well. And it's in really good condition. It's got a couple of strings here and there that need trimming, but no holes, no tears, no stains that I've seen. Now I did say that on one of my items in a previous video that it had no stains. And then when I got it in front of my really bright lights, it did have a couple of spots. So take it with a grain of salt. I think it looks pretty good. We'll check it out under the bright light later. Okay. <laughs> what else do we got? <sighs> this vintage beast. I love it. I swear. It's kids, okay? It is Our Gang by Health Techs. It says it's a size 10. I don't know a boy that's a size 10 now that could fit this. This is probably more like a 7, 8, which is fine. But look at this, okay? Tell me, tell me different strokes, right? Definitely, 100%. If you've ever seen that show, if you were a child of the 80s, different strokes. Or even um, oh, silver spoons. Yeah, the boys on those shows would wear these. How cool is this? How cool is this? If I had a kid now, I'm glad I don't. My youngest is 19, we're not going back only forward. Um, I would totally dress them in this retro 70s stuff. How flippin' cool is that? Late 70s, early 80s. Ah, oh, the colors, that brown, blue, green, red. You don't find that now. They don't make that now. The clothes they make now are boring. This is cute. Next, this is a brand called Jules. Okay, um, it's a lovely striped shirt, long sleeves, lightweight, good for spring, has spring florals all over it. Um, it's a women's US size two. Um, it looks like it could actually probably fit a four or maybe even a six as well. It's just really pretty and I do pretty well with this brand. I usually sell their kids clothes more frequently than their adults clothes, um, but I do pretty well with it. Um, oh, next. Okay, so this is a little tip. Um, oftentimes, things from Hot Topic or um, Torrid will sell well if they are a particular branding, okay? So like um, Disney, things like that, okay? Nickelodeon, etc. This is, I want to think it's from Torrid. Um, because it says it's a size six and they do that vanity sizing and it definitely is a torrid like equivalent size six plus size okay it is selena and it is her officially branded merchandise um, and know that things sold at torrid if they are branded merchandise like disney or nickelodeon they may not say torrid on them anywhere Selena is a very popular um, Hispanic musician, singer. She, unfortunately, her life was ended early in her career. There's a great movie about it with, uh, I think it was Jennifer Lopez played her. I could be wrong, regardless. Amazing singer um, and her life was cut short and her fans are just, still going strong. I mean, they they borderline worship her. Um, she was an amazing singer, but they are very still, you know, fans about her. And so 
majority of Selena merchandise um, can sell for a good amount of money. On top of that, she had a very specific style of clothing that she wore. And if you can find items that look similar to what she wore at her concerts, those can bring a significant amount of money. Um, it's been several years, but I did have a jacket at one point in time that was very similar to one that she wore during one of her performances. And I sold the jacket for almost $200. So just to keep an eye out, just to do a little research, take your time, go look up Selena and see sort of what she wore during her concerts. You may come across it. It would be vintage now and probably you could get it at an okay price. But if you know how to market it well, you could sell it for better. Okay, next is this. I don't know, I don't think this is vintage. I don't. It's probably printed recently, but it's just cute. It's a crop top, Mickey Mouse sweatshirt and a lightweight um, jersey type material. And he's wearing neon colors, which is kind of a popular thing right now. It says made in China, so it's definitely not vintage, but this tag was on it and it says juniors. Um, a long sleeve top. It looks like, it looks like a Venture tag. I don't know if you remember the store's Venture. They were around in the 90s. Um, but I, I just don't know. I need to look it up, see if I can find anything else like it. Maybe it's not from the 90s, but I like the colors. It's got Mickey Mouse. It'll do fine. I, maybe it will be a sleeper and find out it's worth a bunch more. I don't know. We'll see. We'll try to find it together. Okay. This is a brand I have seen um, and never purchased. Every time I have ever seen this brand, it's Alice and Olivia. Um, anytime I've ever seen this brand, it's been totally trashed. And I don't mean like has a small hole or has a small pull. I mean like some chick wore it out and went to the bar and vomited all over herself. I don't know, she fell down in the road, got hit by a truck, whatever. They are trashed. But this one is not. <laughs> and again, theming, it's purple. Hoo hoo, <laughs> one of my favorite colors. Um, it is 100% silk, it's fully lined. It's a mini dress. So I know I said maxi dresses are in this season, but mini dresses are two. So you got the two sides, right? So for spring 2023, mini dresses and maxi dresses, the midi is out, but this, is just too cute. It's very springy, purpley pink. It should do well. I don't know too much about Alice and Olivia. I know there are two different tags. There's like an, a yellowy one and like a white one. There may even be more than that. And one retails or resells more than the other. I'm not sure which one is which. We'll find out, we'll see. Maybe that's the good one. Ooh. <laughs> All right, last couple of things. I found this beautiful, just stunning, vintage child's dress, okay? It is yellow, it's got pretty little rosettes at each of the straps, um, it crisscrosses in the back, very country, prairie, just beautiful. Um, has a few strings that will need trimmed and I believe it's homemade but it was just so pretty. Such a good color for spring. Um, I think it would fit a child probably size seven or eight, uh, but it was just too pretty to leave behind. I couldn't go without it. And it's definitely vintage. You can tell by the feel of the fabric, um, by the ribbon that's used at the bottom. It's definitely 80s to say the least. Might even be 70s. Beautiful. Okay, I know I've told you I love vintage, right? So I have two, the last two for you are beauties. Not even kidding. This, look at this stunner. Oh my God. Okay, so it's polyester, right? It is totally 70s has this beautiful rosy colored floral print on this jewel tone teal dress. It is a 
half button style with a cap sleeve, has the collar. You put a belt on with this and some chunky Mary Janes and you are good. Just stunning. And it's a bigger size. You never find these dresses. It says it's a size 18. Now, a vintage size 18 is not a modern size 18. A vintage size 18 probably fits a 14, possibly a 16 if it's got some stretch, but mostly like a 14, sometimes a 12. So just, just stunning, just gorgeous. It's even got a little bit of elastic in the waist. Oh, I love this. When I found this dress, I was like, oh, and nobody else bought it? Of course you're gonna come home with me. Now, you will not believe what I did when I found this dress. I was on the phone with my best friend and I was like, oh my God. And she's like, what? I was like, I'm at Goodwill. She goes, okay, what are you oh my Godding about? I was like, oh my God, I have to buy this, seriously. And then I looked at the price. It was $10. It still had to come home with me. Oh my God. Look at this. This is amazing. A uh, flipping amazing. This jacket in this brilliant orange with its gold square buttons and these pockets in the front. It's textured so the polka dots like they're, oh yeah, baby, this is braille. You got it, yes, yes, all the yes. Could you imagine this unbuttoned with some like really big flared jeans and some just rocking, rocking chunky heels and on top underneath it, like a little tiny white lacy bralette. Oh, amazing amazing or 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 okay or so you get yourself some of those funky white polyester wide leg pants or you could even do linen if you really wanted to step up your game okay and a crisp white cami and tuck it in or even do it like a bodysuit and sort of go for like bowy hair oh my god that would be amazing and i just need to tell you as if this wasn't enough. It came with a matching skirt. I about died. I thought I was gonna fall over in the thrift store. It's an elastic waist skirt. Now the elastic could probably stand to be re put in. It's sorta of stretched out. It's fine. A bigger girl love this. It's okay. Um, definitely that braille texture. I'm into it. Um, it's a knee length skirt. You could definitely wear the two of these together, 100%, right? That is a look, that is a look. But if you separate the two, you could wear this skirt with a really like oversized, chunky knit, like fisherman style sweater and some like, floppity sandals and it could be like an updated vintage look for you know this spring or you could wear that bodysuit that we talked about earlier that like sleek well-fitted bodysuit and a big white belt oh that could be really cool you could really rock this out i'm just saying those are my style ideas. You can do it however you like, but this and this, I don't care how expensive it was, it was gonna come home with me. I was not going to leave it there to die. It's amazing, amazing. Anyway, if you wanna find it, it's gonna be listed in my store. You know you need it in your life. If you do buy some of these things that I'm showing you guys, please tag me in your Instagram photos because I want to see what you do with it. I flipping, 
I know I've said it before, but I love vintage fashion. It just makes my life. Like I get so excited and so giddy. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the body to pull it off, but I get so excited to see what other people do with it. I follow a lot of other YouTubers and Instagram people who show their vintage fashions and how they wear them and what they look like. If you do end up buying anything from any, you know, from any of my listings, please, please, please tag me in a photo on your Instagram. I really want to see how you style it, what your fashion looks like. I am just such a fashion geek. I love it. I love it, especially the vintage stuff. It just gets my blood boiling. Okay. All right. I've rambled. <laughs> it's been a fun one. Catch me next week for another one or later this week. I don't know. Whenever. All right. Check down below. Um, you'll find links to the store. Chandra La, the resale store of your dreams. You will find all of these fun vintage finds in there. Okay. All right, guys. Keep yourselves accountable. Keep doing the work. Help small business. Buy small. Bye, guys.